Dr. Lipkin, wonderful to have you here on the, at the India Today Conclave 2021. Uh, I trust you're well because I know that you had COVID also uh, a few months ago. Are you much better now? Completely all well I'm, with I'm, you? Yes, yes, I'm much I'm, improved. I'm uh, sad that I can't be with you in person. I've been to this conclave before. It is a fantastic opportunity to exchange ideas. From the time you were last here at a conclave to the, the time you're now here, the world has changed. And I want to start by asking you, Dr. Lipkin, in 2010, your film that you predicted the scenario of uncannily similar to COVID-19, what was it? Did you gaze into the future or do you believe what we've gone through in the last 18 months was somehow inevitable, was going to happen sooner rather than later? I would like to think that it was not inevitable, but sadly, as you've said, it did come to pass and it was something that we predicted long ago. If you go back to the 1918 influenza pandemic, there were many lessons there that we've not carried forward into the current time. And I hope we will, will revise our approach in the future, but I'm not even confident that this is the worst of the potential pandemics. So we need to make sure that whatever we've learned here carries forward into the next months and years. So this, is, um, this has been devastating in, in ethical terms and loss of life, economically, political instability, uh, and we must learn from these mistakes. I'll come to the lessons, Dr. Lipkin, in a moment, but let's just look at the hard numbers. 4.5 million deaths and counting, 210 million cases globally. Has this been far worse than you imagined, or do you believe actually, given the fact that we've now got a vaccine much faster than ever in the past, we've managed relatively well? I think the numbers, as we will eventually find them to be, are going to be much worse than what you've just cited. Many of us believe that there's an undercounting and that it may be as much as tenfold. Then, of course, you have the economic fallout, which has been staggering. The estimates from The Economist are that by 2025, we will have lost 22 trillion US dollars in GDP. India alone has probably lost close to a trillion dollars in GDP. This has been a staggering burden on the whole world in human terms, economic terms, and so on. Can I ask is you, the Dr. Worst, Dr. Yeah, is the worst behind us? I think it probably is. But saying that, I have to acknowledge that this virus has surprised us continuously since it first emerged. So is the worst over? It's a question I'm sure that you're being asked increasingly. Can we confidently say that the worst of the pandemic is over? I hope so. I can't say so with a great deal of confidence. It really depends on how we continue to respond. There has been a problem with leadership globally in addressing this. There have been people who have misspoken, who have led us to false panaceas, drugs that don't work are potentially toxic. We have not shared vaccines as widely as we should. And the best route out of this is in fact vaccination. And I will say this, India is the largest, has the largest vaccine manufacturer in the world. The Serum Institute of Pune is poised to lead here. And I think this is something that India should be proud of and should acknowledge and should promote. 